Hey there, this is Off the Beaten Path with Ash, and I just wanted to introduce you to my new puppy. This is Orion, and she's going to be a new character in our saga of events uh, and outdoor adventures. Um, but this is a quick review of the Nemo Dragonfly two person Osmo, and um, I just. Uh, wanted to say that this is the worst tent that I've ever dealt with and on top of that it's very expensive so um, I was going to give this tent to my dog but I decided to decide, uh, sell it and uh, before I go ahead and get rid of it I'm going to show me setting it up and I'm going to show uh, uh, some of the features and So uh, I'm just going to state the obvious and I'm going to let you know that it is getting ready to be Halloween time and we got some decorations up and also that yes I live in the city so I do not have a yard where I can set up things and have reviews so I have to use things like bricks for stakes. And I have to make with what's due. So, if you're in the same boat, let me know. Here's the digs. It is a really cool looking tent. It's got the cool colors. It kind of blends in with, I don't know, the scenery or whatever. Maybe not here in the city, but... So, it's got kind of a weird um, thing where you've got to use a bunch of stakes. So, um, per se, that was a stake. That was a stake, so you need at least, at least eight stakes. And you can see where there are plenty of guy out points. But on each vestibule, you do need two stakes, which is kind of odd. And then there's plenty more of guy out points. There's Velcro, there's these weird little toggle type closures I guess or thing. So it's got the L-shaped door. The zipper's okay I guess. Um, I've got a ground sheet down because this is concrete but look at this. I mean this is pitiful. So these are two regular width pads um, and on the top you've got I don't know a little bit of room I guess on the foot end you also don't have much room so I am laying in here um, my feet are pretty much you know close to the ground my dog to untie my shoes it does have plenty of gear storage up here. This is pretty good with the gear storage. It's got some of these weird toggle type opener, you know, things that hold the screen open. It's got some more gear storage up in here. And as well, here and here. And these are for I guess your lights and it kind of brightens the tent up. It's got some more gear storage here and here. So if you need like a closet full of, you know, accessories, this is your tent. Here's my gripe. Here's my gripe. How much does this thing cost and is it worth it? I mean, you've got your Osmo material. I got rained on, it did all right, I guess. 
um, kind of got a weird type of awning right here where I kept getting rained on. Um, oh yeah. um, but you need a ton of ste you need a ton of stakes for this tent. Here's the thing, um, Nemo, you overcharge for everything. Your stuff's just not worth it. Um, I do have, you, obviously, your your mat here. Um, it's expensive. All your stuff's too expensive. Um, I just don't agree with it. You, you come up with your uh, prioritary, prioritary uh, materials, and I don't know. You're just gonna have to prove it to me. The dragonfly just didn't do it. Um, it weighs a ton. Um, I can get a better option for what you pay. Um, I'm not gonna pay anymore for your stuff. You got all these weird little features. I mean, if you want to carry a bunch of weight that has features, Nemo, Dragonfly might be your thing. But you know what? Nemo, I'm not sold. This is off the beaten path with Ash. This is Orion, my new pup. And this is the Nemo Dragonfly Osmo 2P. And this is the worst tent that you can buy.